What's up guys, Tech Rex here. It's time to stop! So, a lot of you sometime in the future will be asking yourselves, What kind of phone does he have? Oh, oh I love it, it looks so good. Well, I'm here to answer that question for you. A good ten years before you ask that question. So, the phone I'm using happens to be this. Which is a Motorola Moto G2. I'll give you some specs real quick. Moto G features a brilliant 5.0 5-inch display, HD display, stereo speakers, and an 8-megapixel camera. The curved design fits comfortably in your hand, with colorful Motorola shells available to match your style. It's built to last with a Corning Gorilla Glass display, a long-life battery, and a water-resistant coating. Plus, with a powerful Qualcomm Snapdragon 400 quad-core processor, the Moto G2 delivers a lightning-fast Android experience to enjoy Chrome, Google Maps, YouTube, and more. Motorola shells are sold separately and available in various different colors and available differently by country. So, we're here to do a short unboxing and review. I've reboxed my phone for the purposes of this video. So, let's pretend we're unboxing. Get out my knife and cut the tape. Let's pull it open and in the box immediately you get the brand new phone. Now for the size and goodness of this phone, it's actually pretty cheap. I bought it for around 248 $248 at my local computer store, and it's got all of that. This is ranked one of the best budget phones you can buy, and I totally agree. Other things inside the box, we pull up the flap and we have some headphones. I'm just going to say, these are not the original headphones that came with the phone, as I broke those headphones within the first three months. These are some Panasonic, don't remember their model name, but they're Panasonic headphones that I bought later, which I absolutely love and they have some great sound. We do have the charging cable, micro USB, and USB end, like standard Android phone, and the power brick. The last things inside the box are the safety manuals, are the manuals. Sorry about that. And my SIM card, which I am on Skinny, if you don't know. Let's give you a good view. So, let's get into the phone, shall we? As we know, 8 megapixel camera on the front, a nice Motorola logo there. The power buffers and on button are on the same side, which I quite enjoy. Some of you will disagree and say that that's rubbish and that you should have a power button up here, or the volume button's down there, or the power button over here on the opposite side. I quite like it so I can use two fingers to control both things. Turning the phone on. You can see I've had this phone for a while. I've personalized it with a meerkat, and that's a photo I took at the zoo. Let's just go through some of the details. We have a microphone to the left, and a headphone jack in the center, 
and our charging port is down the bottom. Micro USB, and I chose the color black, but you can get a whole range of different shells, I'll just show you. It tells you not to remove the shell with tools, but I don't follow the rules. Oh man! <laughs> When they say, ah, when they say different shells, they mean, different ones of these. This is what's classified as a shell, and this is the back of my phone. That's a shell. Just a thin piece of plastic. And this is the back of my phone. Sum SD, there's my 8 megapixel camera and torch. Let's just put the back back on. I chose black when I went to the store because black. I'm not racist. Don't don't judge me. Okay, let's open this up. You will have seen this bone in a video either previously or after this. On a different camera. I must say, lightning fast responses. Let's open up Google. And I was on the Wikipedia looking at Markiplier. Let's open up YouTube just to show you lightning fast responses from every app. Let's open up music. This is just giving you a good review. But yeah, lightning fast responses from everything. I get my Google cards so I can read the news. So that's the phone. In terms of accessories, the power brick is a standard power brick. It's a registered Motorola power brick. It's got that nice M logo. Power cables, got that nice M logo. Knife, it's Kathmandu. Moto G, let's get started. It just teaches me how to set up my phone. This is the Motorola limited warranty for phones manual, giving me lots of safety instruction. This is the safe, smart and protected safety manual. And this is the box, and these are the headphones. Now, let's get into it, shall we? Let's move all the stuff here. I have a case on my phone. The two cases are in the background. So the case I have on every day is the Armadillo case, Motorola Armadillo, and this is the inside. It's a two-part case, coming with two parts. This is the inside, hole for headphone, microphone, power bowl, camera, light, and I quite like the way that these, this case is made. I've thrown my phone across the room before and haven't broken it. Although I can't say the same about the second part of the case. As you can see, both these corners are already broken. Funny story actually, I was, let's say, fooling around a bit too much. And my phone was in my breast pocket and I was running and I jumped and my phone jumped and my phone jumped out of my breast pocket and it flew, like... <laughs> flew, Jesus. It flew. And it hit a metal railway line. <laughs> and when it did that, the hard plastic bit of the case, which isn't flexible, broke in three places. No! 
God! No, God, please, no! Up there, up there, which is supposed to look like that, but it looks like that. Up there, up there, and, believe it or not, people have warned me about this. The stand broke, which I use a knife to get out. The stand looks fine now, but there's a broken piece of it right there. It had been completely mangled, and I managed to fix it reasonably. So, yeah, that's my story about the, my war veteran phone case story. Other phone cases I have and will use for videos is this phone case. This is a hot glue, DIY hot glue phone case. Now, it's quite a loose fit, could be better. Makes my phone look a bit retarded. I mean, look at that. If I can get it on. Makes my phone look a bit weird. Looks like it's got hot glue, glue around it. Oh yeah, that light up there, that is my notification light telling me someone's given me a notification. Wonder who it is. Okay, it was my friend texting me. Don't worry. So, hot glue phone case. Bit flimsy. Actually, it's really flexible. Like, I can crunch it into a small ball. And it's back in shape. And it's not broken. I will make a video on this. Get us to 10 likes. And I'll make a video about this hot glue phone case. Which you can find anywhere, but from me, because I'm special. And I'll put this on. Two part phone case, you put the rubber part on first. Slide it in. It looks good with the rubber case only. Then you clip that on. If it doesn't screw up like that, which it just did. Clip that on. If the corners were there, this would be going a lot smoother, but the corners are not. Clip that on, and we have a phone in the case, how it normally is. Could put that over it, but that's a bit silly. I'll show you the stand. Stand out. Puts my phone up like that. I can watch movies, videos from my desk with my phone case. These silver things up here and down there, those are my stereo speakers. There's my f selfie camera. Not sure what megapixel my selfie camera is though. Just the camera looks crystal clear. This is giving you a different perspective of my desk. Another great thing is, when this phone isn't in its case, I'll just get it off now. Not use a knife. When this phone isn't... When this phone isn't in its phone case, it's compatible with my VR headset. If you want me to make a video on the VR headset, get us to 15 likes. This is a for a phone. You slide out the tray and you can slip the phone in and get started with some VR. It's compatible with my VR headset. You're not going to be able to see that. But my phone is in there somewhere. VR headset, it's just got a little door where my phone camera can look out if I ever needed a camera for anything. Those are some good things about this phone. Overall, I think this phone is a really good phone for its price. And if you want anything that was in this video, if you want this phone, 
these headphones. Heck, even this knife. Or this phone case. Or this VR box. If you want any of those items on the table right now, you can get this at any Kathmandu store near you. For any of these items, I'll put a link in the description below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace.